and B35, practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose in Almra from Syrian Arab Republic. The floor is yours, Mrs. Beck. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose in Al Umra, committed, submitted by Syrian Arab Republic. The practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose are mainly practiced by farmers and families in Al Umra village in rural Damascus who possess expert knowledge of producing essential oils and traditional medicine from Damascene Rose, among others, as well as the village community and families who organize the yearly Damascene Rose Festival. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies all five criteria for inscription on the representative list. The evaluation body considered that the practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose in al Umra are an important cultural symbol for Syrian people in general. The inscription of the practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose in al Umra would reinforce the idea of intangible cultural heritage as a tool for sustainable development and highlight elements that contribute to building a harmonious relationship between human beings and nature. The bearers produced the specific proposals for, for the safeguarding measures and were involved in all stages of the process. The evaluation body wishes to encourage the state party to take particular heed of the impact of over-commercialization on the safeguarding of the element, which is not taken into account in the safeguarding measures, despite the potential increase in market demands. The evaluation body recommends that the committee inscribe practices and craftsmanship associated with the Damascene Rose in al Umra on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Beck. Let's move on to the decision and proceed to adopt it as a whole. I declare decision 14 combi 10B35 adopted. <clears throat> Congratulations to Syrian Arab, Arab Republic. You have the floor. Madam Chairperson, Secretary of the Convention, Intergovernmental Committee members, distinguished delegates and NGO representatives. It is our great pleasure to observe today's decision to inscribe this intangible cultural heritage element from the Syrian Arab Republic to UNESCO representative list. And I thank the evaluation body for their much appreciated commendation of our nomination file. During the process of preparing this nomination file, an elderly farmer was asked about how long his community has grown the Damascene Rose for. And when he answered, he said, since infinity. The Damascene rose is in the hearts and minds of the Syrian people. Its patterns are carved into the wooden and copper masterpieces of Damascene craftsmen. Its fragrance fills the rooms of the city's mosques and churches. And its festivities each year are a display of celebrated common values and traditions. Syria, as a nation, is first and foremost the Syrian people and our greatest strength continues to be the rich diversity of cultures which make up our collective identity. We believe that safeguarding and promoting this identity rests on the full integration and participation of all segments of the society, all of our communities, and all Syrians. Especially the active participation of women who have preserved, presented, 
and passed on our cultural heritage and maintained its integrity for generations. The bearers of the Damascene Rose are an example of how intangible cultural heritage can be a main source for sustainable development and how this development can be part of the daily existence of communities. For many centuries ago and until today, the Damascene Rose continues to inspire the stories of Syria's generations. It has cemented in them a bond to their land, to their families, and to their communities. This year, the annual Damascene Rose Festival adopted a particular slogan, Min Surya ila insania, which translates to From Syria to Humanity. We consider this as a result of an effort of cultural organizations and institutions, including governmental departments and civil society partners, in promoting the objective of the 2003 Convention and the values of intangible cultural heritage belonging to humanity to be safeguarded for the benefit of humanity. And therefore, today, I thank the UNESCO Living Heritage Entity and our country host, Colombia, for the inscription of the practices and craftsmanship of the Damascene Rose from Syria to humanity in pursuit of a peaceful and prosperous future for us all. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations. We have a video. اللي جاي من برا اول شيء بيجوا يقولوا بدنا نشوف البلد شو هالورده وشو هالاداء تراث عالمي يعني هذا التراث اللي وصلنا لبرا انه نحن هي الورده الشاميه بتجمع اهل ضيعتنا على يعني بتجمع هذا في الكلورنا هذه طقوسنا حتى ببيوتنا بالبيوت بنحط آه ورده على الحيطان بنحط كذا مين ما اجى عندنا زياره مين ما اجى زارنا من برات الضيعه من اكثر شيء اول شيء بنضيف شرف الورده الوردة الشامية من مظهرة اللي بتوحي باستيقاب النفس من جماليتها اللي بتوحي بالإيجابية والسعادة من أنتج منتجات عصرية حلوة من خلاصات طبية طبيعية تجميلية داخل بتركيبة الوردة الشامية لتعكس منتج عصري يطلع بالنهاية عصري ولكن يوحي بأكثر من 5000 سنة حضارة لما نعرف الشعوب بشكل اساسي على انه الشعب السوري يزرع الورد ويرسل الورد ويرسل الروائح العطره الى مختلف البلدان لانه الورده هي حكايه سوريه وحابين تستمر تشجع وكما انه جميع اهل الورده الشاميه بشجعوا انه تكون ضمن مجموعه التراث الانساني الورده الشاميه اذا تسجلت ان شاء الله بتتسجل تعطينا ثقه ونشتغل اكثر ونعطي اكثر ونتثبت بالارض اكثر ارضنا Following the bureau meeting this morning we need some more time before we examine the next file, that means the file 10B36. So we will go to it later, uh, in fact, after lunch. We are going to po postpone it and take a look at it after lunch. So now we're gonna go to 10B37, Nuat Thai, traditional Thai massage from Thailand. The floor is for Mrs. Back. <laughs> 